One of the great features about the Responsive Tea Time module is that making a booking on a desktop or a mobile view works the same way. There are two ways that we can go ahead and book an online tea time. The first option is to use the select date, which provides us with a calendar of dates we can choose from. Now the other option of selecting a tea time is also utilizing the date tabs across the top. And you can easily navigate through these dates using your left hand arrow or your right hand arrow. Then at the very top of the tea sheet, you'll notice that you do have some search parameters. The first one available is your golf course. So depending on the golf course that's available from the club, you are able to choose what golf course you want to view specifically, or if you want to view all courses. The time of day lets you specify whether you're looking for a time that's any time throughout the day, a morning time, afternoon, or evening. And the show dropdown allows you to choose between seeing all times that are within the tea sheet or only available times. As you're looking through the tea sheet itself, any times that are not available will be listed with not available on the left hand side. Whereas any tea times that are available, like you see here, will indicate the number of player spots that are still available. In order to book the tea time, you do have the option of utilizing this quick book option. This option is really handy because it allows you to quickly book the number of players, which will be marked with the TBD filler player, or choose any existing groups that you've created. But we'll circle back to this at the end of the video. Your other option is to click right on that tea time to make your booking. This will take us right into our book a tea time window. Notice at the top of the screen on the left hand side, we do have a countdown in place. This is a timer that actually locks this tea time for us online and at the club, meaning that no one else can take this tea time while we are in the process of booking it. On the left hand side, you also see the parameters for your tea time. Then on the right hand side, we can see the player information. Now by default, Roger Smith is populated as player one, who is also the booking owner, because that's the member that is currently making the booking. From here, we can go ahead and click on the player options drop down, and this is where we can configure the transportation, caddy, and rental clubs as made available by your club. For transportation, in the drop down, you'll be able to see available transportation options. So you can go ahead and select your applicable transportation, caddy services if they're offered, as well as rental clubs if they're offered as well. Once you're done, go ahead and click anywhere on the screen and it will minimize that drop down for you. Next, we wanna take a look at adding players into our booking. First, let's start by adding another member. Click the add member button and it's as simple as typing a member's name right into that search members field. From there, you'll simply click on that member's name and it will add them to the booking for you. We also have the ability to add guests to our booking. So this is a similar process. We'll click that add guest button and note if you're adding a guest, we do require first and last name. And the email address is optional. However, if you do enter an email address here, this guest will receive an email notification if the club has set up email notifications for tea times. Then simply click that add button. Now you might have noticed as well that you are able to specify the player options for your other players as well. Next, we can go ahead and add a TBD. So the TBD option is a to be determined player, which is a filler player. And this as well will be available based on your club settings. For this, simply click add TBD and it will add that TBD player for us. Just note that if you do add a TBD player, you are not able to specify those player options. If at any point you wanna remove someone from your booking, simply click that X and it will remove them. Lastly, to add to our booking, we have the ability of adding a member or guest from our existing buddies and groups. Now just note with that timer, we did have a four minute countdown. So what happens is that within the last 30 seconds, there will be a button below that countdown that says extend time. If you don't catch that extend time before the countdown ends, you will get a reestablished lock, meaning that this tea time is now available for someone else. So as long as you come in here and click reestablish, it will restart that timer for you. So over to our buddies and groups. This option will allow you to choose from a list of your relatives, your existing buddies, 
or any existing groups that you've created. And the group shown will be dependent on the number of player spaces that are still available. So if you want to choose anyone from your buddies list, go ahead and click their name and it will add them to your booking for you. At the bottom of the screen, you also have an optional note section. And this is great for you to utilize if you'd like to leave any notes for your booking. So for example, I need some teas. Once you have everything set up, you're going to go ahead and click that book now button. Once you've successfully completed your booking, you will receive a booking confirmation right on screen. This will book the tea time in the online tea sheet as well as at the club for you. On the left hand side of the screen, you will be able to see all your booking details, including course, date and time, confirmation number, and players as well as their player preferences. On the right hand side, you have the ability to cancel a booking, print a confirmation, sync the booking to your personal calendar, send an additional email, or view in my bookings. If the club has enabled email notifications, everyone in the booking that does have an email address on file will also receive an email notification. Now that we've gone through how to make a tea time booking, let's review how to make a tea time booking using that quick book option. So what we'll do is we'll navigate back to our tea sheet and we'll go ahead and select our date. So as you saw, when we click that quick book button, it allows us to choose ourselves or number of players, which will be filled with that TBD player or any existing groups we have. The neat thing about the quick book option is whether you choose the number of players or a specific group, it will actually pre-populate all those players here for you. So you don't have to worry about entering their name every time. So as long as everything looks good, you can scroll to the bottom and click that book now button. And you successfully booked your tea time.